Hi, this is Ashwin again, and this time I've decided to do a tutorial uh, on my about my Acer Iconia A500 tablet. Uh, I guess it's the same for the A501 as well. And the difference is that that has 3G and this doesn't. Uh, so the uh, tutorial and the steps you need to follow are going to be the same. Uh, first off, my Acer uh, Iconia A500 tablet has been updated uh, updated to. Uh, honeycomb 3.2 uh, so this is the step you need to follow these are the steps you need to follow in case uh, you want to downgrade from 3.2 I mean in case you want to root your existing 3.2 uh, honeycomb a500 tablet so first off you need to download this file that you see over right over here yes it's in the description from the link yes you need to download that file and once you download it unzip the file uh, and the file will have an up, uh, another zip file inside it called update.zip so now copy this update.zip file into the root folder of your SD card so that's gonna be something like this okay let me yeah Acer Iconia tab and the SD card go into the SD card and Cop paste that file right into the root of the SD card. Okay, now I've transferred the file onto my uh, Iconia. So what we need to do right now? Okay, I'm just entering my password. So just a second. Okay, the pattern is entered. Okay, so what we need to do now? Do right now is turn off the Iconia. And right now, I've just press the. I mean, what do you say? The down, volume down button and the power button. Hold both together. And it'll be, it'll uh, install the Honeycomb version 3.0.1 from the uh, update.zip file that we've uh, put on the SD card right now. So this installation will take a little bit of time. So let's just give it a a minute or two and I'll get back to you once the uh, installation is done I'll be right back I am back now uh, the tablet has just put it back up and uh, let's just check uh, once again entering my pattern so let's just check and see what is the version that we have right now okay Android 3.0.1 so the flash has been successful and as you can see all my files and my settings still remain the same there's no no files were lost so you don't have to worry about that when you do this procedure okay now that we've established that the tablet is back on 3.0.1 what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, you're gonna have to download the second link there uh, right below in the description it's a link to a file called Iconia root 1.3.apk once you download the file, you're gonna uh, transfer it to your tablet, uh, either connect either to the SD card or you could just put it on a pen drive and plug it into the USB slot. That's what I'm gonna do here. And then just you know, I uh, hope most of you would already have it, Astro File Manager. If not, go to the market and download this this uh, app called Astro A S T R O File Manager. Just click on fi File Manager and go to USB storage and there should be Iconia root and before you install this make sure you've got, you go to settings and uh, applications and you have unknown sources ticked over there that's necessary uh, to install this application so back we go to uh, Astro click on the Iconia root and click on install and okay uh, like uh, I don't know whether I've told this already 3.0.1 the version I mean the uh, release that we're going to be using over here is pretty unstable so a force, clo force closes are expected so do not get worried when you see the force closes that is par for the course so don't worry about it just keep moving on once Iconia root is installed open it up and now you just need to click root so once you're done the tablet is going to do the rest uh, by itself. We're just going to have to wait. I 
select allowed if asked for and now you can see the super user pop-up came up so it's done have fun so the tablet is rooted right now so the next thing we need to do is go back to the market this time search for Acer uh, don't worry about the Iconia route that I've searched over here that's a mistake uh, you're supposed to download it from the link and not search for it on the market it's not available on the market just search for Acer recovery install installer and download that okay okay now the down download is completed so we just need to hit on open for Acer recovery installer uh, there will be a pop-up here asking you uh, to grant super user permissions so just click on that and over here select uh, clockwork recovery uh, rev 1.3.4 by tor 2002 ro and press install recovery image it's gonna ask you whether you want to back up current recovery image it's your I'm not gonna do it it's up to you to whether do it or not so I'm gonna hit no it's installing my recovery image right now and it's installed successfully okay now that custom recovery has been installed uh, what you need to do is transfer the update.zip file that is the of the ROM that you've downloaded any ROM you download will get a, will get you a file that ends and uh, that uh, will get you a zip file. So uh, you need to just rename it to update.zip and get it onto your external memory card, the micro SD card. And at this point of time, there is a good chance that uh, connecting your PC to the tablet uh, might not really work. The tablet might not get detected on the PC so there is a good chance of that so don't worry about it just unplug uh, the micro SD card from the micro SD card slot put it into an adapter get the file onto the card and pop the card back in and now all you need to do is we just need to turn off the Iconia and again turn it back up holding the uh, down volume key and the power button So now we are at the clockwork recovery, recovery mod screen if you can see that. So what we need to do is we just need to go, to, go down. The volume keys work as the uh, uh, up and down buttons over here and move on to install zip from SD card. So I have no idea with the phones we use the menu button so I'm going to try using the power button. Yes, the power button works as the select the select button so now we just we are gonna select apply SD card slash update dot zip here's where this is the reason why I asked you to rename your files to update dot zip else we need to go down select choose zip from zip uh, SD card and then select the file I'm just basically you know we're just doing that on the PC and just selecting the default option apply SD card slash update dot zip so now we need to scroll down and select yes install and now we just we've just got to let the Iconia do its work sit back relax wait for it to be done and the update is done so now once it's done we just need to go back and click on reboot system now So the Iconia is booting up now. Okay, uh, we have the tablet is up right now. So I'm just gonna unlock it. It's gonna ask you ask me for my code. So I'm just gonna cover up the camera for a second. And my pattern is in. So let's just double check now. Make it make sure that we are on the right firmware. So about tablet. 
and Android version 3.2 and just to put any doubts you have to rest here we go and there's super user so the tablet is rooted and it's on 3.2 and this is how you root an Acer Iconia 3.2 so if you have any queries please leave a comment or send me a private message and I will respond to you as quick as possible once again thanks a lot for watching if you like the video please click on like and hit subscribe if you can and you can follow me on Twitter uh, my handle is cursed forever once again, thanks a lot for watching and if you are watching this video before December the 31st, 2011, wish you a happy new year. Bye bye.